If there is one piece of advice you want to give to the regular person who's uh, to kind of uh, limit the antibiotic resistance, etc., what would that be? Don't expect that medicines can work miracles. Though it has been proclaimed that science has advanced so much that we are able to live longer, we still have to die one day. It's been said that the only <laughs> guarantee in life is that we'll all die one day. Yes, yes. We may push it by five years, ten years. That's all we are doing. So don't expect miracles. Now, with regard to specifically infectious diseases, one simple advice I'd like to share with you is the stronger your immune system, the better you'll be able to fend mm -hmm. off diseases. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep your immune system stronger? One, eat good food, a balanced meal, whether it is vegetarian, whether it is non-vegetarian, whether it is intermittent fasting, take a balanced meal. Okay. Two, rest. You have to have your seven hours sleep. It's been shown that people who sleep five hours or less or people who sleep 10 hours or more yeah. are at a higher risk of dying mm -hmm. than people who mm -hmm. have the seven to eight hours sleep. So make sure that you are rested. Three, take your vaccine shots regularly. Vaccines are not only for young kids. As you grow older, beyond the age of especially 55 or 60, you do expect your immune system to start waning. So take your vac vaccines regularly. Four, smoking and drinking. Very clearly shown that even alcohol, which was once thought if you take in moderation is actually healthy. Now, now they have said that even taking a little alcohol is worse than not taking alcohol. Mm -hmm. So be sensible. Yeah. Five exercising. Mm -hmm. Make sure that physical activity, now with the kind of phones and all that, nobody all day when you say you, you play games for an hour, it's playing games, games on your absolutely. Uh, you know, system. No, you have to get out anything, walking, running, jumping, swimming, whatever, cycling, do some at least half an hour a day, five days a week, very clearly shown. And lastly, stress. It's been clearly shown that stress impacts your immune system. So whether it is meditation, whether it is pranayama, figure out a way to calm yourself so that the less stressed you are, the more robust your immune system will be. So these are the simple things I would advise for people to take.